Well, goddamn boys, we're back playing some more of Marvel Future Fight. And for this one, man, we're going to be having a little bit of fun with X-23 in our new X-Force uniform. We're going to be running a couple DPS comparisons, both with and without the uniform, to see just how big of a difference the uniform makes for the character. Because honestly, X-23 has always been a very, very underwhelming character for me in this game. I absolutely love the character. I think she has amazing survivability because of the iframes and the healing but overall her damage has just been pretty underwhelming for me and that's why she's still a tier one to this day i know a lot of you guys say you think she's absolutely amazing and you have her at tier two some of you guys have really good obelisks and setups for her but for me she just always felt really really underwhelming so i couldn't push myself to get her any further especially since she's a semi-premium character that is pretty hard to attain and you have to grind her from the processor or spend money to get her to tier 2 because her bios or rather x genes are pretty hard to come by i do have quite a few right now because we had a couple events that gave some out you can see for yourself i have 338 we're gonna use those in this video to get her gears to a decent space and then we're gonna do some comparisons i don't have an obelisk on her and i toyed with the idea of giving her a damage proc but i figured i'll go ahead and do this comparison first without a damage proc because that way it's much easier and much more consistent because lining up the damage proc on the exact same skill multiple times throughout this video will be pretty challenging whereas if i don't have a damage proc we can have an idea of what her damage is natively no proc obviously eventually i will give her a damage proc something like crit rate crit damage and maybe a 200 percent damage proc if i can get one because i really like the character and a uniform bonus should ideally give her a massive increase to her dps 25 percent increase to physical attack and the fact that this is a premium uniform once you get this thing to mythic she's gonna have 50 percent increase to her overall dps so hopefully that is enough to fix the base because the base is pretty underwhelming i absolutely love the character and it just really pains me that her damage is so low that i basically can never use her for anything besides a few low level shadowland stages anyways let's actually go ahead and rank up a couple of her gears and then we'll jump into a little bit of testing with her so we're just gonna try and push this to maybe like 18 each and then we'll jump right in if we get really lucky okay we'll see how we can go maybe we could get them all to 20 in this i really doubt it i don't think 338 bios or x genes is enough to get our gears to 20 let's see what this is Ooh, that was pretty expensive we're not going to go any further with that gear. Getting multiple events back to back for her is actually pretty helpful for someone like me who's just been grinding her through the processor because I refuse to use any of my X gene selectors on her. I'm just going to use them all on Gambit and then just give the rest the magic. If we get really, really lucky, we might get a couple gears to 20. Wow, the luck is actually rolling in, but watch me say that, and then we get hit with a times 30. Let's see, we're gonna go for one. No, we're not gonna do it, we're not gonna do it. We're not gonna do it. Let's get this one right here because she needs a cool down. Let's at least get this one to 19. Because I think my cooldown right now is at about 45%. Yo, these gears are actually really, really helpful right now. They've been staying pretty low. Wow. Can we get two more times one? Wanda. Whoa, times 10. Not terrible. Let's try one more time. Wow. Okay, times 18. <laughs> Ouch. That hurt. That hurt, that hurt real bad. Let's get the first gear to 20 at least. Wow. Woo! Boys, are, are we about to get are we about to get that lucky right now? No. Okay. Ouch. 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 That hurt. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to get this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold up, guys. We might just get... No way! Woo! 
Oh my goodness, really? Really? Wow. Wow. You know what, guys? Hold up. Hold up. I didn't want to do this, but let's see if we can get a couple more of her X jeans. And we got one, two, got a couple night crawlers in there. Let's chat it a couple more times. Shit. We only got one here. We got one, two, three. You know what? We might have enough, you know, guys. I'm gonna do it one more time. Ah, oh, nice. Jackpot on Nightcrawler. Yo. Okay, let's go try it right now. I'm using so many shards right now. Yo, yo, yo. Okay, we have two rolls. Let's go. Oh my, you gotta be kidding me. Yo, RNG's a troll. Oh my goodness, bro. Hold up, guys. Let's try one more time. Okay. We got it for sure this time, right? We got it for sure this time. There's no way. Yo, let me see that last gear. What is it at? Okay, we got it for sure this time. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so her gears are completed. Total was what, like 350 bios? That was actually very, very cheap. Very, very cheap. Okay, so let's take a look at the overall stats now. So we went up 3% in reduced cooldown duration because I was at 45 before. And everything else is just kind of whatever. Ignore defense is maxed out. Crit damage is pretty low. But because of her tier 2 passive, I don't want to give her too much crit damage. You can see for herself right there, she's going to give herself 35%, which is huge. Her tier 2 passive is actually pretty damn solid, can't lie. It's just that her base damage is so freaking low. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take off the uniform, and then we're going to test her out on a couple different entry modes. All right, so previously the highest entry mode I've ever been able to complete with X23 is actually on stage 15, this one right here. And I've tried her a few times on stage 20, but I couldn't complete it with her gears at 15. Let's see if we can do significantly better now that her gears are at 20. Still no damage proc though, so I really have my doubts that she'll be able to complete this because her AoE is really not that good. And that is one of the reasons why her damage is so bad because she just focuses entirely on one particular character while the other characters just chill off to the side and the clock just runs down on her, right? So yeah, really wanted a new fifth skill so freaking badly. And her defenses is really not that high. So when she gets caught outside of her iframes, she takes a ton of damage. But you want to take damage with her ideally. So that you can keep her four star passive active. Yeah, there's no way she's going to be able to complete this. We might kill two of three. But without a damage proc. I don't think it's possible for her. The fifth skill, man. The radius on that fifth skill. Pure garbage. We might squeeze out the win here, you know, guys. We might squeeze it off. Nope. So freaking close. So freaking close. Okay. Let's see how much better she can do here with the uniform. Let's go ahead and equip that thing real quick and see if that is enough to make her able to complete this thing. Keep in mind, all we're really getting is a uniform bonus. Well, that's not technically true. We're getting a stronger forward skill and we're getting an all defense down on the third. It's definitely a noticeable increase in DPS if you can keep the enemies together. It's definitely not a massive increase though. Okay, so she's definitely going to be able to complete this with the uniform. But it's only by, what, like maybe 12 seconds? Yeah. 
<laughs> she's like 15 seconds faster with the uniform let's go ahead and test her out on another one of these entry modes we're gonna do her right here without the uniform first and then with the uniform i've never actually used her on this one so this should be interesting now since these guys have a lot of summons once they start putting bodies on the map, I really feel like even with the uniform, she may not be able to complete this. Especially since Volstag does that. He reflects. Physical attacks. And we got two combat types in here, but they're doing good staying together. Yeah, there's no way. Even without the summons here. There's no way she can do this. We got Volstag dead. But it's going to be the same result once again. Yep, another failure. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. We're going to test her with the uniform. See how big of a difference it makes. It's probably not going to be that big of a difference. We might be able to clear it with a few seconds to spare, but that's about it. Now, I know some of you guys are going to say, well, just give her a damage proc and that will fix everything. Will it though? Will it? All right, boys. Let's get it. We're going to start with the four skill, even though we should ideally start with a three skill. I just didn't want Vostag to put up his Reflect. Woo. But actually, this is good. This is good for business. Having her HP low is good for business because then we get that attack buff from her four-star passive. I really need these guys to come back together. There we go. Yo, am I really going to fail this again? Damn, bro. Damage proc is absolutely necessary. Come on. Please don't tell me you're going to feel this. Yeah, man. The lack of AoE, bro. The lack of AoE is just detrimental to her. Come on. Really? Wow. I feel like we could do this. Without the damage block. I'm going to give her one more chance here. I'm going to give her one more chance. Maybe if I start with the 3 skill. And prioritize. Using the 3 skill off cooldown. Then she might be able to do it. But then freaking Volstag open with this reflect. And that's not good for business. Okay we're going to use the 3 skill off cooldown. And we're going to try to stay out of iframes for about half a second after they end just so that these guys come to me. Okay, so it looks like she can definitely do it if we prioritize the three skill. I'm sad the three skill. Okay, get out of here. It's not as good as Deadpool's because that's what she needs. She needs a really cool defense buff this one right here only reduces it by what 1500 it's not gonna be that good for world boss ultimate but for stuff like shadowland it may be okay yep so we got it no proc still got it all right let's test her one more time against the x-men over there and now that is gonna be a lot tougher because we have to deal with scotty scotty's gonna hit her while she's in iframes and I really feel like she's not going to stay alive without the uniform. We'll see how it goes, though. Let's see how it goes. Oh, 
all right so this is the hardest of the three floors so i really have my doubts that she's gonna be able to complete this especially since cyclops is in here and he's just gonna stun her consistently in iframes it's just bad for business but it looks like we'll be able to take out scott and if we can do that we may have a chance to win but rogue is pretty tanky because of the damage block and beast is pretty annoying as well yeah i don't think she has the deeds for this and it's again it comes down to just not having enough aoe now i know putting a damage block on her will give her more damage and that may make up for the fact that her aoe is absolute garbage but i don't see her flying to the top of the speed class anytime soon so once again this is not a must buy uniform for me it's just that if you're a big fan of her, it makes her a little bit better. So we couldn't clear that without the uniform. If you guys want me to build X-23 a little bit more, give her Urus and give her a damage proc and show you guys what the upper limits of her potential look like in this uniform, let me know, man. But honestly, I don't know if I'm going to go much further with her than just tier two. All right, Scotty, we meet again, me and you. What are you gonna do? Of course, you're gonna try to do some nonsense, but I'm gonna try to kill you before you get a chance to, you bastard. The damage is definitely substantially better when you can apply the all defense down and get the enemies to stay together to make up for her lack of range. Rogue, come to me. The damage looked so good and it just kind of fell off because Rogue is just chilling over there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so she was able to do this, what, 20, maybe 22 seconds faster? Because if we had an additional two seconds, we may have been able to complete it without the uniform. Listen here, Daddy Wolvie. If you don't chill... Let me go take out the blast characters first. Especially Magneto. I wish I could just switch targets in the middle of using a skill. That would be such a cool feature. Magneto, don't get any ideas. You're next. Really? Oh, this guy's in the knife right. I was going to say what the hell was going on there. All right, boys. So we managed to actually complete this. this is the first for me, to be honest. And I got to say, I'm pretty underwhelmed with the uniform overall. But considering the fact that she's not a tier 2 yet and I don't have a damage block on her, I guess it's not completely awful because before she couldn't do this at all. At the very least, now she's able to complete it. But for me, still pretty underwhelming considering that this is the X-Force uniform, one of my favorite looks for her. But anyways, guys, leave your thoughts in the comments. How are you feeling about X-23 in this new uniform? If you picked it up, let me know some of the crazy things that you guys have been able to do with her. And if you'd like to see me make future videos, on her if you want me to give her urus get her to tier two and try to see just how much we can get out of her in world boss ultimate let me know in the comments till next time boys thanks for watching peace out